Hi, beautiful people. Hi. Uh, it's Martin and Barbie, and uh, today episode, I'm gonna make an episode of it, is for those of you um, who actually are sellers on Amazon. Today is Sunday, February 25th. It was supposed to be a beautiful day for us, and I'm sure it will. But uh, we had this one fucking situation with Amazon that I cannot fucking believe that is actually happening. We are sellers on Amazon. We're selling light up fashion, fiber optic fashion, and we just sold uh, a hoodie to the customer and uh, ship it to him. And uh, USPS tracking information says that it was delivered to the person. The person actually wrote us an email through the Amazon and told us that he did not receive the package, which is obviously two possibilities. Somebody stole the package from his house and the second one, person might be lying. I'm not accusing anybody, but USPS is claiming that the package was delivered. So I replied to the person that uh, I'm sorry, but uh, it seems like package was delivered and it's possible maybe somebody stole it from your front door. So uh, um, I don't feel responsible for lost package because a person who is buying and if they know that they are living in a risky area, not safe area, they can actually request a signature required for the package to be delivered. So he filed a claim because I said, or we said, we are not responsible, the package was delivered to you, we don't know where the package is, and uh, it's up to you, man. So, he filed a claim with Amazon, and um, I cannot fucking believe this, but uh, well, Amazon opened the case, and we replied to the case with the tracking information that I'm providing for you right now, so you can see. And... Uh, you can also see that the package was delivered right here. And this morning we wake up and I found on my phone the emails that uh, says we have granted the claim for this order and issue a refund to the buyer. seller guarantee A to Z, we have determined that you are responsible for the claim on order, blah, 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 blah. The information you provided does not pr prove that the merchandise was delivered to the buyer's shipping address. As a result, the claim amount uh, has been debited from your account. So what we're gonna do now, we are gonna call Amazon right now and seek for the truth. So let's call the Amazon and find out the truth. I'm very curious why me as a fucking seller is responsible for lost package that was actually delivered and confirmed with USPS that it was delivered for a fucking you know, transaction. Why am I responsible? Why am I gonna be paying I pay the shipping, I pay for the product to produce, I shipped it to a buyer, buyer claims he didn't get it, and they fucking like took my money for shipping and for product production, and they gave it back to a buyer based on his word against USPS tracking information that says that it was delivered. I want to see what they have to say. Because this is fucking ridiculous. And I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna go after it. 888 100. Well, by the way, Amazon phone number is um, 10888 280 When you call Amazon uh, or other people, either whether you are upset or angry, don't let them know, be just always be nice, that will always will play. Thank you for calling Amazon customer service. In your this favor. call can be recorded for quality assurance. For orders, deliveries, or returns, press one. For Prime membership, press two. For a Kindle device or Kindle book purchase, press three.
3. For all other questions, press 0. 0. Just a moment. An associate will join you shortly. Hello, thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. My name is Eri. Can I have your name on your account, please? Yes, I am a seller, and the name on the account is... Please report through to uh, Amazon seller support. This is the one speaking. Am I speaking to Martin? Hello, Demon. How are you? I'm doing good. And you? I'm very frustrated. Oh, yeah, what's wrong with you, Martin? Uh, I'm very frustrated because uh, let me give you the order number or actually the claim. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 114-961-3246-758-3460. Okay, I... Um, I am the seller, I sold the item to the customer, customer claims mm -hmm. that he did not receive the item, I checked the USPS uh, tracking number and it says that the item was delivered, so I responded to the customer that uh, probably somebody stole it from, you know, from their house or you know, from in front of their door, or he might be lying, I didn't accuse him of that, but uh, that is possibility because uh, you know I go with uh, trust with USPS that claims it was delivered uh, customer opened the case on me I responded to the case with the tracking information and you guys closed the case in a favor of buyer so basically you refunded the money to the customer that claims that he did not receive the package regardless that there is evidence that the package was delivered on 23rd of February and that uh, that was claimed by USPS post office. So uh, I want to know why it was uh, your decision. It was in favor of buyer, and uh, I want to reopen the case um, because I'm assuming that because I didn't purchase the shipping uh, label through you, because I could not, I cannot. Uh, I cannot, uh, um, I cannot insure it through you, so I use stamps.com which directly works with USPS and I create shipping labels through stamps.com. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that you could not pull all the information needed for you to discover that the package was delivered. So. Um, I want to know how you're gonna fix it because I think that uh, you actually, your decision was uh, was wrong, and um, and I want it to be corrected. And I don't know what other options are. I don't know if I have to. I will try to take it to court because um, this is not fair to me as a seller. So uh, please find out why uh, I am responsible for a lost package or uh, for a claiming of a buyer that the package was not delivered why am I responsible for that for that loss and I want to tell you that I'm recording this conversation for future references if I will need it in a court or somewhere else and um, just like you record conversation I do record conversation and uh, I'm making a video that will be posted uh, on YouTube and other social media because this is ridiculous how you treat sellers as me. So, please um, respond to my case. Okay, well, uh, the first thing, 
Uh, basically, I just want to let you know that all calls are recorded for quality and analysis purposes, so okay. we have everything recorded. Good. That's the first thing. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, well, the next thing, uh, before you know, we begin, I will need to verify the account so I can pull up your account. That's all the notes made, so the next thing is just now to verify. So we can see, you know, what it is yes. to make next, okay? Uh -huh. And please don't take it personally. I'm not upset with you. You're just like working for Amazon. I am upset with the whole situation. So I might appear angry, but I, I'm, I'm really angry. But it has nothing to do with you personally, you know? I'm just upset about this whole situation. Mm -hmm. Because I tried, I, I woke up in a beautiful day, I woke up in a beautiful day, and first thing I open my emails, and it says that you guys are like refunding the guy, you know, full, full amount, because you did not get, get enough evidence from me, and you closed the case, you know, it's ridiculous. Like, anybody can order from me, or from anybody else, then they will claim they didn't receive the package, and you just refund the money like nothing happened. You know, and I have a lot of like, I did a research, if you go on YouTube, you will see a lot of people, if you are a seller, you are not in a favor because Amazon always, always, or most of the time, maybe 99% uh, goes in a favor of buyers. And uh, sometimes it's not fair, as this time. And I want a fair resolution of this because this, how you guys resolved it in a one day that uh, you refund the person the money is not fair to me. And I'm fighting for not only myself, but for other sellers that are in these situations, you know? Trust me, uh, you know, I don't take any of it personally, I can assure you that. Okay. Uh, my job is basically to try, you know, and assist you, because once a car comes into my line, I'm basically working for a seller, once you, so right now I'm working with you. Okay. I'm going to see what we can do about this, okay? Mm -hmm. The only thing though, what we may be able to do a general sales support will be limited because the people that deal with A to Z claims department are independent from us. So most of their correspondence goes through a stringent email queue, but I'm going to look through, see how we can best build a case to have this appeal and let's try their decision, okay? Okay. So, Trust me, there, there are a lot of things that are in place that we here, you know, not only myself, we don't agree with. Uh, we, you know, we try to follow them, see how they can be amended, but we don't agree with everything that is put in place. Because we do, we do understand, you know, it is a environment where customers are, uh, let's see, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but customers are treated a bit better than our sellers. And we don't really, we don't agree with that in any way. Thank, thank you for your support. And I'm still drinking a whole food uh, mineral water. So if this is case is not going to go for me as fairly, I will stop drinking whole foods and I will stop shopping at whole foods as well. Because it's a one big scammer. So anyway, okay, thank you for explaining. Thank you for supporting our site as sellers. And let's see what we can do about this case. All right, no problem. So. As I stated before, I'm going to need to pull up your account. Okay? Absolutely. So, uh, could I have the email address on your account, please? Yes. All right. Thank you so much for that, Air Martin. I'm um, just going to pull up the order and see the status of the claim. And uh, I'll just get back to you with the updated information how best we can go forward with this, okay? Okay. Thank you, man. Hello? Yes, I'm here. All right, thank you so much for holding. Okay, so I did see, you know, some information here. Uh, they didn't put any direct annotations to say why exactly they, you know, denied the claim in your flow. Granted, they came the claim to the buyer, sorry. However, based upon my experience and what I've been seeing, you know, over the past few years, uh, Claims like this, when they aren't, uh, you know, when shipping is involved to Amazon, as you previously, previously stated, uh, they usually resolve the claims a bit quickly and in the buyer's favor. Uh, for this 
for this year. I'm still seeing where the, the section here is to say appeal decision. It's still open for appeal. So I'm going to basically go through and see, you know, how we can, you know, together create a good case, you know, so see if we can get us to retract that decision of this claim because, you know, this this seems a bit unfair. You know, it is unfair. Shark and Bill show delivered and everything like that. So, you know, I want to get this off your account, okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't understand really much from what you said because, um, I don't know, because of the speaker or something that the, you are talking to, it's very difficult to understand. But uh, what I understood is you're going to look closer into the case why it was, uh, it was, um, it was closed in a favor of buyer, that's what you're saying? Are you, are you, are you, are you hearing me a bit better now? Well, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like from a microphone, you know, it's not very good quality of, of sound. It's, it's loud, it's not like that you are, uh, maybe you should pull the mic a little bit away because it is loud, but it's very unclear. How about, how about now? Is it better now? I think it's better now. Yes, this way. Okay, perfect. So this is better. Uh, so as I was saying, perfect. Yes. You know, so as I was saying, I did make some checks to see. I, uh, I didn't see an annotation that stated exactly as to why they denied the claim. Uh -huh. However, based upon my experience in this field, you know, uh -huh. over the past few years and stuff, when I checked, uh, upon cases like this, usually when you know shipping isn't bought to Amazon, as we stated previously, it is tended to be you know granted a bit quicker in the buyer's favor. Oh, I see. So let, let, let me see if I understand it correctly because I still you know the sound mm -hmm. is not very clear, and I also like I said I'm recording this and I want uh, this to be clear on the record. So what you are saying that. Uh, in situations that the shipping label wasn't purchased through Amazon, uh, you, your mm -hmm. system or actually your people uh, or actually Amazon itself um, gives the claim in a favor of buyer, right? That's what you're saying, right? Yes, in usual cases, based on my experience, because there wasn't an annotation here which stated, you know, any reason in particular why it was denied and not see that left in the system. I see. Uh, more than likely it would be in their system, but as I stated, they are external to Amazon. Uh -huh. As an investigative department, you know, the A to Z okay. department. Well, but this still doesn't, uh, you know, that this still uh -huh. doesn't mean that the buyer is in favor or the buyer is right. Uh, be yeah. Because that base, base like that uh, suggestion that you actually um, going in a buyer's favor, it doesn't necessarily ex, uh, ex, uh, express that the seller is wrong, right, and buyer is right. But you still made the decision in favor of buyer. Okay, so uh, I would want you to look deeper, and uh, I actually found in your uh, in your website. Uh, on, account. on a seller account, I found the um, contact, us. contact oh. us, and there is a customer customers and orders, and there is a section where I can actually respond to the um, to the to the claim as a contact reason. I will put the claim. Please describe your issue, and I can actually add attachment, and I can actually add Ooh. PDF file that I print, that I saved from stamps.com mm -hmm. uh, shipping label that you guys can see all the details which means like shipping address of a buyer, shipping address of seller and, uh, and the tracking information so you guys can track uh, the, the shipment with the exact address that we were sending it to. You think that I should do that? Mm -hmm. Or we're gonna resolve it like over the phone? Or how, how, how is this gonna work? Yeah, that's uh, the next page I was gonna lead you to. You know, I just wanted to get that, you know, out to you first, mm -hmm. you know, before we started. Uh, I was gonna lead you to two pages. 
the first one would be basically your A to Z guarantee claims page. Uh, so whichever one you want to go to first, you can start there. Okay. Right? Okay, so if you navigate me from my seller account exactly where to go, I will do that. Okay. Uh, so you're logged in right now, right? I'm on a seller account, yes. All right, perfect. Do you see performance at the top? Performance, oh, yes. I see. I am there. All right, just hover over it. Uh-huh. And then you're going to click on A to Z Guarantee Claims. Okay, I clicked on it. All right. Uh, then there are a few options at the top. You're going to click on Result Option to Appeal. Okay. Okay, I clicked. Oh, okay. Appeal, so appeal Decision. Yes, I see the claim there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, click on Appeal Decision. Appeal Decision, okay, I clicked. And... Okay, so uh, here is the window where I can uh, actually uh, respond, but I don't see any attachment mm -hmm. that I can attach, that I can attach the file. So here is where you're going to, you know, start that appeal. I'm going to lead you to the other contact space. Okay. Okay, so... Um, so I am... Uh, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna leave this window open for, you know, f after we finish, I will respond there. And if you can uh, navigate me to another, to another place where I can actually also file or actually upload mm -hmm. the, the shipping label information. Directly from uh, yeah. from uh, stamps.com. So where do I go? All right. Uh, if you create this appeal, I want to see if a case is created. Because if a case is created, you can just add the attachment to the case. Oh, okay. So, I see. Mm -hmm. So what should I what should I uh, put in the appeal? Should I just express my, you know, disagreement that, uh, you know, we have evidence that the, the, that the shipping, uh, that, the, that the package was delivered and uh, should I mention that I purchased the shipping label through stamps.com and uh, I will attach the shipping label to that email? Yes, you can most definitely do that and if you want, you can make reference to my case as well. That I created for you. Okay, that your case is the one that is like a claim number, like 11, 114 and then 96 and the, all the other numbers, that's your... Yeah, my case is, is 489. Just one second. Your case is 489? Uh -huh. 510. 510. Seven two two one. Seven two two one. That is your case number. Yeah, that's my case number. And what is you know like your name or uh, what should I, who should I refer it to? Okay, you can put them on uh, D M O Y. D M O Y. D E M O Y. D E M O Y. Thank you so much, D Demoy. You've been very helpful. Okay. But Amazon, Amazon Moon. Okay. So, um, so this was the conversation the, with Demoy from uh, Amazon. He was very helpful, and uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, regardless, you know, uh, don't. Uh, don't get disappointed and uh, if you know that you are right, you are right and fight for your rights because nobody has right to rip you off your money, whether you are buyer or seller, but uh, you know when things are unfair and, um, and you know they are, 
um, then just fight for it, you know, because there are many videos on uh, on YouTube and, uh, you know, all the social networks that, you know, like once buyer claims that, you know, they didn't receive package or something like the Amazon, like you could hear it automatically uh, goes and uh, goes in a favor of buyer, never the seller, but you can always uh, file appeal, you can always reopen the case and you can explain your situation why you think is wrong what Amazon is doing. So let's see how this case will end up and I hope that it's gonna end up well for us because uh, I'm not responsible for stealing you know buyers packages from their house there is always an option to get a signature required so this doesn't happen and this buyer didn't actually requested a signature required um, shipping method and that's why we don't feel responsible for uh, for lost package